Hello, in this video we are going to use the order of operations along with some observations about exponents to simplify this expression. So in the order of operations, uh, before we add, we need to deal with exponents. But the tricky part is to deal with this term right here, which really I, I read as subtracting 5 squared. So I think I'm subtracting right, 5 squared. And I'll explain why that makes sense in a moment. We're going to find that, and then we're going to add 4. So here, right, with subtraction um, and parentheses, the way I've rewritten this, we, had to, we have to deal with the parentheses first. So 5 squared, that means 5 times 5, that's 25. And we're subtracting it. And then we're adding 4. So what does this equal? Well, if you're at negative 25 and you move up 4, that means you go up to negative 21. And if we were to draw this quickly on a number line, right, we, we, can vision, uh, we can envision the number 25, negative 25, and then we move up 4. Up is in the positive direction, negative 24, 23, 22, and 21. That's four hops up when we add 4. So the answer is negative 21. Now why does it make sense that if we have this negative sign here that we leave it? A lot of students see this and think it's positive 25. Well first of all let's just um, kind of distinguish. Uh, if it were, this is a, a different example, written like this, negative 5 squared, that would mean we're squaring the negative and the 5. In other words, we can think of this as negative 1 times 5 and we're squaring both the negative 1 and the 5. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, and 5 squared is 25. So this is not what we have here, but this is an appropriate example where squaring a negative would result in a positive. When I, when I look at this right here, I think, okay, let me, let me reason my way through this. I know that 0 minus 25 is negative 25. That makes sense to me. I also know that 5 squared is 25. So if I start at 0 and I subtracted 25, that would give me negative 25. I also know that 0 is nothing. So I don't even need to write this 0 here. I could think of this as negative 5 squared. And that still would be negative 25. So here in this context, we could see that it might make sense to think of this as subtracting 5 squared, thus preserving the negative sign. And when we're squaring, we're really only squaring the base 5. All right, I hope this helped.